Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to talk about vectors. So we are going to solve some practice questions under vectors. I believe you managed to watch the videos where we talked about how to find the the resultant, how to add the, the vectors and how to get the angles. Okay, and the terms used in vectors. Very, very important. Now, what I want us to understand here is that uh, we have got a question here which is saying, Find the direction and magnitude of part A, a vector sum of A plus B, part 2, which is saying the vector difference A minus B. Then part 3 is saying the vector difference B minus A. So here is the diagram which we have. Now, remember, it is very, very important, as long as we have been given the vectors, it is very, very important for us to come up with what the, the components. Okay, so we are supposed to resolve each vector which we have into x and y components. Okay, so we are going to say that to resolve any vector into x component, for example, we have got a. So we are going to get that vector a. Now in x, it's going to be ax, it's going to be that vector cos the theta. So we know that our a in this case is a 30. Then cos, which angle are we going to use? Remember, when when we are talking about vectors, we are measuring the angles from positive x axis. So the angle is supposed to come from this line until it touches the vector. So since we have been given this is 25 and not 250, it's 25 degrees. Okay, then this is 20 degrees. So we have been given the 25 degrees. So to find the angle there, we know that from this line all the way to this line is, is 180. So we are going to say that 180 minus 25. Okay, so which is going to be 155. So this angle is going to be 155 degrees. That is the angle which we are going to use. Okay, so what is, um, what is 30? What is 30 cos 155? I'm, I'm getting, so my AX, I'm getting four, negative 14.6. One is one four. I'm going to round it off and say one five. Let's now resolve this one into y component. So to resolve this one into y component is going to be a y is going to be equal to the a sine theta. Now, whenever we are trying to resolve any vector into y component, you get that vector sine the angle. So we have our vector, which is thirty. Sine the angle is one fifty five. So what will be the answer? So I'm getting 30 sine, sine 155. I'm getting negative 26.1, um, or let me just say 20. So it's ay negative 26.20 meters, also meters. Let's now resolve vector b into x and y component as well. So we have vector b, which is going to be bx, is going to be b cos theta. b is um, 20. Then the theta is, uh, now remember, we said the angle is supposed to come from this line all the way until it touches the vector. So we know that this point here we have been given the 20. Yeah, we have been given the 20. So we are going to say that uh, 360. 360 minus 20, which is going to be 340. That will be the, the angle. So we're going to have 20 cos, cos 340, which is 15.193. So we have our BX as 15.193. What of our by? So let's let's go ahead and find the by. So the by is going to be b sine theta. So it's going to be by. Our b is a uh, twenty sine three fourteen. So twenty sine sine 340. I'm 
I'm getting 13.00. I'm getting 13.00. Now, after finding the, uh, the, the, the x, the component of each vector, what next now? The next thing is, uh, let's read the question. The question wants us to find the sum of a plus b. That is the same as finding the resultant. Okay, but if we want, we can just say uh, we have a plus b. Now, this a plus b, we need to add the x component and the y component. Okay, so I'm going to say that a plus b, now the x one which is going to be equal to the ax plus bx. So this is going to give us ax is negative 14. It's negative 14.61 plus bx is 15.193. So meaning that this is going to give us, we have negative 14.6 plus 15.1 9, 3. So I'm getting 0 0.5 0 0.583. Okay, this is what I'm getting. Meaning this is the x component of the resultant of a plus b. So let's just put it here to say a plus b. Now the x component is a 0 0.583. Okay, now let's find the y component. So the y component is going to be, is going to be, here we need just to put y. It's going to be y, it's going to be equal to the ay plus by. So ay is a negative 2 point, or negative 26 point 2.0 plus the by is 13. 0, 0. So this is going to give us negative 13, negative 26, point two zero plus 13, which is giving us 13, negative 13.2. So that would be now um, the B, the A, the A plus B, now the Y component is going to be equal to negative 13.2. So let's get rid of this. Now, a plus b is going to be equal to this. You say a uh, plus b, this is going to be equal to the square root of a plus b. Now, the x component, we square it, plus a plus b, the y component, now we square it. So this is going to give us this. Oh, this one is uh, this guy here, which we have, which is a uh, negative, or it's 0 0.583, we square it plus, we have 13, negative 13.2, we square it. So this is going to give us 0 0.583, we square it plus plus um, 13 negative you can just ignore it 13.2 we square it so I'm get now I get the square root I'm getting 13.13.21 meters so this is my the sum of a plus b Okay, now when we say the sum of a plus b, this is what is going to happen. But b is asking us to find the difference of the vectors a minus b. So a minus b, we are going to say that a minus b, now the x component, is going to be ax minus bx. So ax is negative 14.615 minus the bx is 15. This, this is what you have. So we're going to have uh, negative 14.615 minus 
15.193 so I'm getting negative 29.808 that is the x component so I can put it here a minus b the x component is negative 29.0808 okay so I don't have space here I don't have enough space let me just get rid of this then I put it here we have this which is a negative 29.808 meters now let's find the y component the y component is going to be a minus b now the y component is going to be ay minus by ay is um, negative 26 negative 26.20 minus by is 13.00 so this is going to give us negative 26 uh, minus 13.2 or oh, is negative okay negative 26.2 so this is giving me negative 39.2 so I can put it here to say a ah this is supposed to be minus not plus this is just a mistake so we have a minus we have a minus b now the y component is negative 39.2 so to find the, the the sum of these vectors is going to be a minus b it's going to be the root of a minus b now the x component we square it plus a minus b the y component we square it so this is going to be this is negative um, 29.808 squared plus this is negative 39.2 squared so this is going to be um, you can just ignore the negative or you can just plug in it's going to give you positive 29.808 we square it plus uh, negative that one is going to be positive so it's going to be 39.2 squared we get the square root so the answer I'm getting I'm getting 49 point I'm getting 49 49.2 meters Okay, then the next next question is saying uh, the vector difference b minus a. So this is just the reverse. The reverse now. This was a minus b, but now it's b minus a. So b minus a is going to be b minus a. Now the x component. It's going to be b b x minus a x. So bx is um, 13.00 minus ax is negative 14.615. So the answer is going to be okay. This is not 13. This is um, 15. It's supposed to be 15. This part is bx, so bx is fifteen. Is fifteen point um, one nine three minus. So we have now that one is going to give us positive. So it's going to be fifteen point one nine three minus minus is going to give us positive plus fourteen point six one five. I'm getting twenty nine. Point eight zero eight. So B minus A, the 
the x component is giving me 29.8 uh, let's go to um, the next one so the next one we are going to have um, is b minus a now the y component it's going to be b is um, bx or by minus a y so by is a uh, negative 26 point by is 13 sorry is 13 point zero zero minus ay is negative 26.20 so this is going to give us 13 it's giving us 13 point um, zero zero plus 26.2 it's giving me the same now i want to explain something here we are going to get the magnitude it's going to be the same but the difference is going to be the direction so if you get to find the direction the first one we found the same but the direction is going to be different so from part a and part b you can go ahead and find the 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 mark the direction you know that finding the direction is using theta okay you use theta it's going to be equal to tan inverse the y component divided by the x component then plug in the values that will be the di direction now this one you have to find this and this one you have to find the same magnitude but different direction okay so you can go ahead and find the direction 